What's up, internet? So today I landed in Columbus, Georgia, and I want to share all the different items I bring whenever I travel for art projects. You can kind of see I have my check bag right here and my carry-on bag right here. And the first thing that you want to see is that I have a sprayer that I can break down. This is the Graco uh, Project Painter Plus sprayer. The stand actually comes off of the sprayer so that it can break down and be a lot more mobile. So I have the hose, I have the trigger, I have my respirator, I have pretty much everything I need to actually spray sort of gallons, gallons of paint right here, which is great because like I said, it fits in the carry-on. And then I have my banner. I started traveling with a banner just to make sure when I paint, everyone has my information because I get a lot of questions. So I started traveling with a banner but this is the carry-on that I bring all of my clothing and other toiletries, all that other stuff. And then this is basically all the tools that I bring with me and it fits in that check bag as well. So everything from that check bag, I also put on here. And let's break down what I have on here. I have all the tools in the bag for all those tools. So like the wrenches and the pliers and I have a knife and uh, scissors, all that stuff that will help me when it comes to spraying, I have uh, the actual paint key. Uh, when I'm getting gallons of paint and I need to open it up, I have a paint key. I have a lift key, a ton of lift keys. So when I do projects, usually I have a lift provided for me. And these are some of the keys that will sort of operate it. And a lot of times they're the same key, um, just in case I lose it. I have gloves right here. Um, when I'm spraying, I don't have to sort of uh, get paint on my hands. That way I'm able to easily sort of have like a, a clean day afterwards. I have extra gloves as well. This one fell down here. Extra gloves whenever I'm doing uh, sort of like pulling weeds or you know fixing something on the wall that I just don't want to touch or sort of get scrape, scrape my hands or anything. I have tape. This is something that is always a must when you're sort of traveling for projects so, because there's just so many uses for tape. So I always bring a fresh roll of tape with me right here. I have all my paint caps, so I always travel with my own paint caps, more than what I need, mainly because when you're going to different places, you don't know exactly what type of supplies they have there, so I always travel with my spray paint caps. Uh, usually it's like the Montana Level 1s and a bunch of other ones right here. And then I have my stencil caps to do really, really small lines. I think I have a video uh, that I posted up about using stencil caps like this, but I always travel with that as well. And then I also have uh, rollers that I bring as well. Not too many, just a couple, just in case if I need to do some detailed work, I'm able to use a roller or sort of a brush right here. So I usually carry, you know, just a little bit. But then I also have my can holders. So these can holders right here, let me see if I can break that open. Can holders right here are something that I use for managing all my paint on the lift. So this is something that I designed and printed myself and helps me out whenever I'm on a lift and I have a ton of paint because I use a ton of color. I just throw uh, a can per color on our color per one of these holders on the lift and I'm able to manage uh, that area of the wall that I'm painting. And then it gets to some of the fun stuff like the documentation part. So I have a ton of cameras. So I have the Osmo Action and this is DJI Osmo Action, which is kind of like the GoPro. So I use this on my head, or I just sort of tape this to the lift and do time-lapse with it. These are more time-lapse cameras that are dedicated time-lapse cameras. They use uh, four AA batteries, and these will sort of last for like a, a day, a week, even a month. So I can set this up for the entirety of the project and just have it just take a picture every three seconds and it will last the entire project. So that is something I use with the tripod. So I have this really mobile and sort of compact tripod that can fit into the, the carry-on or the check bag. And then I have the Ray-Ban glasses. So this is something really, really new. This is basically glasses with a camera. It records about 30 seconds. And you have the camera right there. And basically, you know, as I'm painting, I can just hit this button right here and it records 30 seconds of footage. And this is way better than sometimes wearing this on my head. So this is something that I really, really like. And a lot of the footage that I recently have been taking of me painting murals have been with this camera right here. Um, 
I have extra AA batteries for the time-lapse camera. I have my Pico projector. Sometimes I travel with this. Sometimes I leave it back because, you know, if I'm in a rush, I'll bring it just in case. But a lot of times I'm just doing the doodle grid uh, to sort of scale things up really fast. Um, but this right here definitely helps out. It's a one that's battery powered as well. So I don't need a charger, but I can, you know, charge it as or sort of use an adapter to make it brighter. But this is a standalone uh, projector that doesn't need uh, an outsource or a power outlet. So this is runs on battery. I have charger right here because sometimes when I'm on a job site, there's no power. So I need sort of power to sort of charge up my phone or, you know, my iPad because it's draining over the course of the day. Cause sometimes I do eight, 12 hour days. Um, and then I have my DJI um, drone, my Mavic Air 2, I think, yeah, Mavic Air 2. And this is something that I get about two years ago, but it has helped me out tremendously. I do a lot of documentation with it, but I also use it to sort of uh, set up my doodle grids and set up a lot of just like, just uh, composition. So this helps out getting a perspective um, from different angles of the wall. That's just a lot, it's a lot, a lot easier for me to sort of do this, especially if the wall is really, really tall. So I'm able to use this to get different angles and to make sure everything is sort of like, you know, looking great from, you know, every angle that, you know, this can fly to. So that is uh, pretty much a lot of the stuff that I bring. This is the bag for the drone. And then I also have an extra phone as well because a lot of this stuff will run on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You have to set it up with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And I don't want to use my regular phone and drain the batteries. So I use the other phone that I have to set up this or to control this or control that. And basically, you know, everything works together. But all this stuff fits in here. And basically I'm able to check all this stuff and have this entire check bag be like the entire tool set. So this is one of the cool things about, you know, having this sprayer that can break down really easy. And I'm able to sort of all pack all this stuff into here and then have this be the bag where I take all my clothing and toiletry, all that other stuff. So I just have a check bag and a carry on. And usually sometimes I can also check this one too. So I'm not carrying a ton of stuff in the airport. Yeah, so this is basically everything that I bring. And then that's like my book bag right there. So hopefully that helped out when it comes to insight, when it comes to what I bring on my projects so that you can sort of figure out exactly whether you want to bring the same items for your project as well. I wanna keep doing videos like this. So to help me out, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and share as much as you can. And I will see you next time. All right, peace.